Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. After Trump pardoned great grandmother, family reveals disgusting thing Obama did to them three times. President Donald Trump commuted the sentence of Alice Marie Johnson this week. Johnson is a 63-year-old black woman who was handed a life sentence in 1996 on nonviolent drug charges. Kim Kardashian West took up Johnson's cause and requested a meeting to advocate for prison reform as well as to specifically lobby for clemency on Johnson's behalf. Using the notoriety of her name and her pop culture fame, Kardashian West requested the meeting with the White House meeting with President Trump's son-in-law and senior advisor, Jared Kushner while she was there. President Trump issued several high-profile pardons, including pardoning Sheriff Joe Arpaio, conservative commentator Dinesh D'Souza and former assistant to the vice president Scooter Libby. He plans to pardon up to 30 convicted felons according to reports. Johnson was convicted on a first-time drug offense. She got involved with a cocaine trafficking ring which she states she did out of desperation because she was broke. She suffered a series of significant hardships during a short period of time including a job loss with FedEx, the end of her marriage to divorce, and the loss of her son due to a motorcycle accident. Kardashian West immediately took to social media to declare this was the best news ever. As well as to thank President Trump, Kushner, and all others involved in allowing Johnson to have a second chance. She tweeted, so grateful to it real Donald Trump, Jared Kushner and to everyone who has showed compassion and contributed countless hours to this important moment for Ms. Alice Marie Johnson. Her commutation is inspirational and gives hope to so many others who are also deserving of a second chance. Yet, many find it rather sad and ironic that America's first black president, Barack Obama apparently could not be bothered to address commuting Johnson's sentence. Her case is a cause that Obama purported to care about, a black woman, a 63-year-old great-grandmother, first-time drug offender, prison reform, breaking down racial barriers, judicial disparity amongst minorities, mandatory minimums, among other issues. Despite Johnson's family requesting that Obama consider her case on three separate occasions, Obama well he was just too busy campaigning and playing that next round of golf apparently. On May 24, 2018, President Trump also chose to issue a posthumous pardon for the heavyweight champion boxer, and black iconic sports figure, Jack Johnson. Former President Obama was also asked repeatedly to pardon Johnson, yet he refused to do so yet again. It seems the American black community is stepping up and taking notice that for all of Obama's speeches to the contrary, he has done very little to help the black community. His words said one thing, while his actions showed quite another. Patricia Dixon took to social media to tweet her disgust over how Obama ignored the pleas of both of the Johnson's families, stating, We have learned that Obama, America's first black president, refused to pardon Jack Johnson when he was petitioned by Johnson's family and friends. We now know that Alice Johnson's family petitioned Obama three times and he refused to grant her clemency as well. Meanwhile, Johnson herself was ecstatic with the news of her clemency. She first thanked her savior Jesus Christ and then she thanked President Trump for offering her the opportunity that Obama repeatedly denied. She stated, I want to, first of all, thank my Lord and Savior, thank Jesus Christ. Without him, I can do nothing, but with him, I can do everything. I want to thank President Donald John Trump. Hallelujah! For giving me another chance to live and restoring me to my family. After years of pleas before two presidential administrations and the intervention of Kardashian West on her behalf, Johnson is finally free to go home. The BBC reported of Obama's callous disregard for Johnson's case and Kardashian West's involvement. The BBC's Jessica Lusenhop wrote, I first began communicating with Ms. Johnson as she waited to hear whether or not she'd been approved under President Barack Obama's clemency initiative in 2014 where he pardoned 231 prisoners. She easily met all of the criteria, she had a spotless disciplinary record and even her own warden felt that she deserved to go home. Unfortunately, according to the Obama regime, Johnson didn't fit all of the criteria for the former president's clemency project, and was rejected just days before Obama's term ended. The Grio reported on how Johnson's daughter, Tratessa became a vocal advocate for her mother over the years. She worked tirelessly in making sure the press and the public knew the woman behind the case. She's made some serious mistakes in her life, but she is not this monster, she said of her mother. I mean, she's really turned a very negative situation to as positive of a situation as she can. We are praying for mercy in my mom's case. That this nightmare is finally coming to an end, she told BBC News in reference to Kardashian's involvement. After Johnson's clemency was denied by Obama for the third time, she swore she would never allow her family to be put through this process again.
the continued disappointment was simply too hard and too painful for her daughters. However, as hope was revived in the unlikely form of Kardashian West, Johnson began to refer to her as her own personal war angel. It seems when it came to finding jobs for Americans, black Americans specifically, Obama could not be bothered, nor could he be bothered in addressing the very issues he claimed to be in support of with regard to helping his own community. He was apparently too busy selling America out to the likes of Iran and China. Now after less than two years into his first presidential term, President Trump is being credited with the lowest black unemployment numbers in history. He is also being credited with allowing Johnson a second chance and giving a family hope for the first time in many years. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.